Welcome to a Classic Game Room update on the first CGR feature review of Musha, which was kickstarted back in October. I started filming it in November of 2016. I've got a bunch of the intro shots done. I have to do a lot of the Edit Station 1 voice effect, so I've been writing the dialogue while also assembling the edits. I'm setting up the, the uh, studio right now for the Musha, Musha live recording, the physical media stock, is in the Space Arcade, and I should be on schedule to deliver this in April of 2017. So let's take a look at the beginnings of the film. Uh, the first CGR feature review picks up where the best of Classic Game Room left off. Oh no! Who is going to stop this before it gets violent? Now I think we've all learned a valuable life lesson today, haven't we? Musha! So let me get this straight, mysterious voice coming from nowhere. You want me to defeat Musha for the Sega Genesis and then I can go. Yup, that's right. Good luck. <laughs> okay. You'll never beat Musha. You're doomed. Musha! What is it? Who is it? Where does it come from? And why is it regarded as one of the greatest video games from the era? Because it is. It's an acronym for Metallic Uniframe Super Hybrid Armor, released to the Sega Genesis. This is part of my lunch, but here's a look at the timeline for the CGR feature review, which you can see is coming together nicely. These are mostly shots of me talking in the studio. Some of the dialogue down here is from Edit Station 1. That's music. Uh, this actually picks up where the best of CGR left off, so that's some best of CGR footage here, which will be very reminiscent of Star Trek 3, actually. Um, got some, uh, the FX means there's audio FX levels on there, and these are outtakes over here. So, here's a look at the monitor, which actually uh, is showing a shot of one of the original Musha reviews. I actually reviewed the the box art years ago and referenced that in in the film as well as a uh, reference to the original review of Musha. If we look closely at the classic game room intro circa 2008 you can catch a glimpse of Musha sitting in my Sega Genesis. Right where it belongs. When I bought this game in 2007, I paid 45 bucks for it. Nowadays, in extreme cases, it sells for over 400. The thing is, it's worth every penny. Musha is an artistic masterpiece on every level. Even past Mark knew this, which is why Musha was one of the earliest classic game room reviews released to the internet on March 8th. 2008 as a seven part review. I already saw that this is a suicidal mission and that we're going to be a hero, even though the commander was telling us not to be a hero. But what fun would it be if we weren't trying to be a hero? You may still be a little bit confused about the plot, but if you skip ahead to page 19, there's a section here called The Last Fighter, which clarifies things a bit. The Musha team went to attack the enemy's fortress improper punctuation, but the enemy destroyed four of the team, leaving only Terry. So you are playing Terry in the game. Here it is, the physical media stock for the CGR feature review. 200 clamshell cases, almost all spoken for, for the CGR feature review of Musha. And I have a mock-up that I uh, just put together for the CGR Supreme Kickstarter. I'll show you that here. Here's my copy of Musha in a plastic clamshell case, and I love the clamshell cases, which is why I'm using them to deliver the final CGR feature review. I'm still working out the artwork for the Musha feature review packaging, the two different artwork designs, but here's a look at the CGR Supreme design, uh, which fell together a bit, a bit easier um, in, in a clamshell case. So this is like a prototype of what the CGR feature review is going to look like, since they're both in the same kind of case. Uh, this is just printed on a color printer, but the final versions will be professionally printed. And here's the prototype foam brick on the inside. There will be a manual here for the feature review, 
as well as CGR Supreme. And I'm still looking at a uh, vendor for how to professionally cut these, but this is the same size and shape that I cut myself. So it holds the memory card in there, in the clamshell case. And this is actually one of the memory cards that you'll be getting for the CGR feature review of Musha. All personalized. Not all with drawings, but all of them signed by me. All right, the camera that I'm filming this with here, this camera, is doing the bulk of the screen capture work uh, for the feature review, but this camera is doing most of the studio shots, the live action shots, and all of the close-up photography and uh, controller shots and whatnot using a slightly older model, Canon 5D, a couple different lenses, and uh, I think this, the new stuff is looking really good. It takes longer to shoot, but in the end I think it's worth it since these are uh, being sold and I want you to get the best product possible. Your standard three button Sega Genesis controller is always a good choice because it's cheap, it's readily available, it has all the buttons you need to play Musha, and most importantly, it has a great D-pad. So, highly recommended. I'm going to film most of the Musha gameplay in December. Uh, using SCART direct feed and uh, also recording off this TV here with the live action shots like you, you see in a lot of the reviews. I'm still working out some background details though so before I film those I want to finalize the background and the lighting which I'm still still working on. This, this angle is pretty tricky but I'll get it. It may just take a little bit but the Musha gameplay will obviously be the backbone of the video since I'll be talking about uh, pretty much every aspect of the game. Never a dull moment in space. I'm either running from a homicidal computer or working on classic game room films. I hope you've enjoyed your look behind the curtain at the making of the first CGR feature review, the first in a series. I'm planning more of them uh, for next year. Looking at Herzog, Zwei, and Omega Boost as potential uh, contenders for the next feature reviews. Uh, the CGR Supreme series is launching on Kickstarter on December 1st. This is the definitive collection of all classic game room reviews going back to 2008, moving forward. Released on physical media and uh, digital with commentary tracks. And I'm also going to be blocking off an entire week in December to just play Musha. So that's when I'm, that's when I'm going to record the bulk of the film and then pick it apart and analyze it from there. And also I ordered uh, Super Elest for the Super Famicom, Spriggan for the PC Engine, and the Musha soundtrack, so I can talk about that more, more in detail. So the feature review is coming along nicely. Long way to go, but I'm, I'm on schedule for April delivery. That's what you think, Mark! Just wait till I fix my broken break key! You'll never beat Musha! Never!